Guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're having a look at the Shan Horse Battleship that was recently added in the um, latest update to the German Blue Water Fleet. This is the most modern battleship in the game uh, by a very large margin. And um, in this battle we'll see what that means in game because I gotta be honest this thing is OP as hell and right now all I've got on it is parts and fire extinguisher this is actually the very first battle I've used the fire extinguisher in uh, because the previous three battles I had uh, I unlocked parts and I burnt down in each of them uh, that's the only way I died Now that I've got the fire extinguisher um, unlocked in this on this ship, uh, I can control my fires and improve my crew survivability. And if you keep an eye, can I see the stats? Unfortunately, it doesn't show the crew stats as normal. And unfortunately, uh, my in-game recording had turned itself off, so I'm having to do it through the in-game replay system. Um, but uh, just switch over to chat in here. So this battle here, uh, I've started taking some attention off the. Uh, you can see here, everyone's having a look at me now. I managed to cruise a little bit without getting too much attention, but it's right about this point. Um, I'm right out in front of my friendlies. And uh, you'll see all of a sudden everyone starts shooting at me. For those of you who are relatively new to Naval or haven't quite made it up into the higher tiers yet, um, one of the biggest recommendations that I can give to anybody is to not use automatic fire extinguishers, repair kit, or, uh, or anti flooding reason being is every one of these that is active will deplete the effectiveness of the other one that is active um, so just say I've got the fire extinguisher running um, I'll get a debuff to my reload and um, and general performance of the ship because my crew are focusing on, on uh, putting out the fire but that fire extinguisher may only take 15 or 20 seconds to, re to put the fire out however if I'm using a toolkit which might be doing a two minute repair as soon as I hit the fire extinguisher my fire which normally would only take 20 seconds to pull out uh, put out is now going to take uh, you know 500 seconds and that repair kit that was only going to take two minutes is now doing 800 900 seconds um, and then if I was to add another thing on top of that, like unwatering here, then those those time periods can go for, you know, five minutes plus. So my biggest thing is um, I prioritize fire um, over any other. Fire kills your crew. Uh, it obviously also has a chance of knocking out other modules and worst thing possible, detonating the ammo on your ship. Uh, post after that I will switch to uh, flooding um, the only time I will prioritize flag fire is by watching which I can't show you here right now but watching my flood percentage if I'm at 100% that means I'm not flooding I'm, I'm fully secured but if I see that dropping and I see that dropping at a rate where I'm going to hit the uh, the death point easily before then the fire extinguisher is going to go out then I'll put the fire extinguisher out, let myself burn because it, it is a slow death and I will switch over to unwatering. Uh, now unwatering works in two parts and it, it plugs the leaks first and after that it switches over to a longer timer and that is how long it's taken to actually from the ship. So you can actually stop the repair after it's filled the the, the flooding holes um, and it will just sit at whatever percentage you're at maybe you're at 70% and it'll just stop there it won't go back up 
if you keep it switched on, then your flooding will go up. Um, or so look, we'll improve. Now, we'll get back to the battle here. Um, this ship has a fast firing, relatively fast firing, 11 inch battery, um, nine guns, and with the modern ammunition that it carries, the modern firing system, if you have a look, look at that grouping there. That is a really nice tight grouping. I'm not at a particularly long range here. I've managed to um, start making, closing the gap on the enemy here. And this isn't the biggest map in the game by a long mile. You can see I've closed the gap. We're at 4Ks here. So my my volleys are really, really tight. I'm focusing down... I've been focusing multiple ships at the same time. And by that, what I'm doing is I'm firing high explosive at multiple ships. Trying to set them on fire and then moving on to the next one. Now my mentality here like my thoughts on why I do this is because fire earns you a lot of damage points and on the scorecard damage points is as it show me here yeah this this here is your damage score so you can have no kills no no nothing and your your damage score can be right up 6,000, 7,000, 10,000, 20,000. Doesn't matter. You don't have to get the kills. It's this score here that really, really matters. Um, and you get that by setting fires. Ultimately, um, every volley that you do or that does damage and hits them, destroy something, that, that'll also score points as well. But um, down will uh, get you the kills. And against the larger battleships as well, Especially considering here I've only got high explosive shells. I can put them on fire, start bleeding down their crew. And while they're their ability to fight back because they're fighting the fire, I can share my next volley around to another battleship or another cruiser. And I can have, you know, multiple ships on fire at the same time, racking up score and keeping them distracted. Just look at that accuracy. This is ridiculous. Uh, if you have a look down here... I've taken fairly superficial damage in the center of the ship. My guns are still operational. I don't appear to have any flooding at this point. I'm trying to keep myself relatively well angled here against incoming fire. But the closer I get to the enemy, the harder that's going to get. You can see here I've got enemy out on my left now. So they've got full broadside on me. I've got ships that have passed my T, they've crossed my T, so they're going to start uh, getting out on my right hand side, so they're going to be able to start hitting me there. I've got PT boats dropping torpedoes in the water over here. Now I do remember seeing this Helena over here, and I just wanted to over here before he managed to fire off another sneaky torp when I wasn't paying attention. I think I swatch, uh, swap over to the Helena here. Yes, I do. I think my hope was I was going to get a nice little close close quarters shot into his magazine. And I realized that he's almost dead. And yep, unfortunately I missed that kill. But uh, I'm not exactly struggling at this point. All right, so right here, you can see I've stopped, but I've stopped. Um, because I've got little islands here, here, and here. And what that's done is that's giving the enemy less room to um, launch torpedoes. Um, because that little PT boat was there. There were a lot of little cruisers around. Uh, so I was a little concerned about getting too aggressive, going out into the open, and getting torped to death. Which, despite this thing being very well protected, even against torpedoes, um they they still make me nervous, so I, I don't want to get smashed by torps if I can help it. I have a feeling here, by looking at this, if this is accurate, I probably am missing out on... I could be repairing the ship. I might be doing it. Unfortunately, it's 
too hard to tell. I'm on fire again. You'll see I'll instantly activate the fire extinguisher. And if you wait a few seconds here, you'll probably see if it shows it that the uh, toolkit gets switched off. Um, I may not have noticed, or maybe I've, no, I definitely haven't fixed it. This has quite nice torpedoes. Uh, six kilometers, which isn't the longest in the game by any stretch of the imagination. In fact, it might be one of the shortest range torpedoes, but it's very effective for this map if you have a look here you're looking at three and a half kilometers there you're looking at so this heavy cruiser out here it's just outside of range of my torpedoes which ultimately i wouldn't be launching torps at even if it was in range it's a little bit far out he's going to move but these guys that are getting in nice and close they are perfect for torpedoes So you can see here, I haven't quite mastered or got a full concept tagging system really works. The old system I had, I had it fairly much nailed down, I think, um, how to hit exactly where I wanted on the waterline or on the, on the deck level. Um, I haven't quite mastered it, but um, I've gotten to, at least to the point where I'm relatively confident I'm going to hit the enemy ship. Um, and I think you can see there, I am definitely aiming for the turrets and I'm hitting them. So in that regard, I'm doing pretty well this battle. I've got a feeling I'm probably just not paying enough attention here because I could be running the repair kit here. You have a look over in chat here. Um, I've been called out. <laughs> Um, the, uh, the shun horse is definitely scary. Like, as you, as you can see here, uh, we've been going for 13 minutes at this point. Maybe a little less because the battle time starts early. Uh, and I've been under constant fire almost that whole time by enemy battleships. And right now, I am actually crossing into their spawn point. Um, like the line of their spawn. And uh, I'm not particularly concerned. I'm keeping an eye on... I, I've forgotten which of the, the American ships have torpedoed. So I'm trying to... At any time, I'm trying to keep an eye on whether the ship is launching torpedoes. Because you can see it if you're paying attention. Or if you're paying enough attention when you're zooming in and out. You can see torpedoes leaving a trail in the water as well. And that's a dead giveaway. And that, that'll give you a warning. Um, right, I think from memory up here I noticed some torpedoes. Uh, I, c I could be wrong. I have played a couple of battles in this now. Look at that fire though. Everything I hit gets set on fire. Now that's that's not particularly unique to this ship. Um, that, that can be the case with almost anything, especially anything with 11 inch guns and bigger firing high explosive shells. Um, but, uh, that fire. look at the damage thing oh here we go um i've doubled my my damage score from before i'm over ten thousand damage now now because i've moved myself up into their spawn point i am actually focusing on getting some kills now rather than just sharing the damage around um because i do not need some torpedoes crossing my t um, I, I don't want to be facing off multiple ships. So the faster I can bleed down individual ships, the better. Because um, a burning ship is still a dangerous ship. And at this range, uh, any one of them could have torpedoes. And it doesn't matter how good my armor is. Torpedoes will eventually sink me if I take enough of them. Now... What are we, 16 minutes in, I've lost my two front turrets, and I remember here, I was trying to get my repairs up, um, and I kept on getting set on fire, so I had to abandoning the repair, and unfortunately, abandoning a repair means 
resetting the repair when you get back to it. Um, which is very frustrating. It's like everyone just... I didn't repair the hole, I smashed the hole back out and I'll get back to it later. Um, in my uh, repairing you can see that the midsection of the ship is now fully repaired. My rear turrets are still fine. I'm about to take a... No, I'm not. i am dodge that one. I think crew-wise, right around here, I was still doing pretty well. Um, I think I was looking at about 40 or 50% crew um, somewhere around here. And um, I was feeling fairly confident with myself. And I have a feeling that at this point, um, I take a couple of big HE hits. And maybe a torpedo. Those, those big hits to the top section of the ship will bleed a lot of crew. You can see I'm not struggling for flooding here. The ship's doing relatively fine with that. Um, I just took a big hit on the side. I've got some flooding. A of flooding here. And um, I took lost all my secondaries and stuff down the side of the ship. Each one of those secondaries has crew on them. Uh, which means getting one of those nut, I just lost a lot of crew. And I actually wasn't really aware of it at this point, how many I'd lost. Um... But it wouldn't have changed anything anyway. Um, as you can see, I'm behind their spawn point now. And I'm swinging around, coming back at them from the rear. This is for multiple reasons. There was no point in sailing away from them. I need to get my best armor facing back at the enemy ships. And... Um, Ooh, there's some torps coming in. Sorry. And, uh, yeah, I just need to get my best best armor back at the enemy um, and, and try and keep that damage and pressure on the enemy while they're shooting at me. My friendlies, uh, which are still sitting in the spawn, mind you, um, they aren't getting shot at. And ultimately, that's, in my opinion, the role of a battleship. If the enemy's shooting at you, they're not shooting at your weak ships. And in that particular role, they've done fairly well here. Now, the Prince Eugen, not really that big a threat. Um, but I have taken a lot of damage here. And regardless of how big his guns are, they are still 8-inch guns. Uh, so they, they still pack a hell of a punch. And he is also quite a modern ship as well. Um, which gives him some combat advantages for some of the older ships. Even those battleships over there. I think from memory that I got that kill just there and I think it was a detonation yeah there we go uh, destroyed Prince Organ and yeah there we go that torpedo what was killed me in, that, that's what killed me in the end there Um, and that was actually pretty much the end of the battle. Um, I did actually spawn back in. Um, not the best decision. I, I didn't, I should have paid more attention to what the score was, but, um, I thought I might've been able to score some more points and unlock the, uh, the ammunition I was researching at the time. 
and if we have a look at the score, I have in a period of about, let's go back, in a period of about, I would say it, it, it'd be under 21 minutes. It, it, it'd be probably under 20 minutes with the um, start time of the match and whatever. Uh, so in, in about 20 minutes, I have managed to rock up 15 and a half thousand damage. I've uh, killed seven ships and I've damaged many, many more. And um, this, this ship is just insane. It is right now, it it doesn't have a genuine um, equal in the game. Thank you for watching. I hope this has given you some ideas on the ship and maybe explain some of the mechanics or the, or the way that I play the game and my thinking when I play the game. Uh, if you have any questions, please put them down below in the chat. If you have anything you want to add, uh, put it down below in the chat. Um, anything at all, just, uh, just say good day even. Um, have yourselves a great day, great night, wherever you are, and I will see you in the next video. Bye bye. Thank you for watching the video. Please like and subscribe.